This week's video is inspired by a case study. What if we get asked to compare various warehouse costs, which varies depending on their location and their size? How can we use Power BI to enhance the delivery of our insight? The best way to do that is by adding an Azure map to your Power BI report so that the user can easily visualize the location of the site, how close they are in relation to each other, and to the city center, something like this. This report shows warehouse leasing cost comparison in Sydney, Australia. Each dot in the map represent a warehouse. When you click the dot, you can see additional leasing cost per meter square and its relativity against other sites. And underneath that, you've got details associated with each site, such as the size of the property, the rent, total rent, as well as the site address. Later on in this video, I'd like to show you how to recreate the Power BI report step by step. There are eight steps required to recreate the map from scratch. First, let's look at our source data in Excel. We have site, site addresses, the sizes, the cost per meter square, and the total rent. Next, let's close the Excel data file, open up Power BI, and click Import Data from Excel, select the file, and then give it a second. Select the relevant tab, which is Data Original, hit Load, and then give it a second. And voila, Data Original is now available for us to use so that we can create our Azure map. Next, let's create the Azure map visuals. Simply click Azure map and then find site address and then click and drag into the location field. Yes, that's it. Very simple. However, look at that. The dots, which represents each site address, it's at the moment scattered everywhere. They are meant to be all in Australia. How come some of them are in America, in Europe, something is not right? Let's troubleshoot this together. What's probably happening is these site addresses also exist in other parts of the world. So Power BI is feeling confused. Is this in Australia or is this in USA or Europe? So we need to clarify that and make the address longer, such as something like this. So this address now has the address plus comma suburb and comma country Australia, as you can see. So it is more complete. There is no more confusion for Power BI. So let's save this file and then let's go back to Power BI and refresh our data. All right, let's go to Power BI and then hit refresh. And then after that, go back to report view and then change site address and replace it with site address with country. And then as you can see, let's zoom out. Everything is now in Australia, in Sydney. Next, let's zoom in a little bit and let's display the site name. How do we do that? Just click format your visuals and then turn on category label. But that name is too long. It's a little bit ugly, don't you think? Can we make it shorter? Can we just display the shorter site name? Okay, so let's try this. Let's click and drag site into location. Oops, we are back to displaying the wrong charts because our location is now some in Europe. That is not good. How do we fix this? To fix it, we need to enrich our data with latitude and longitude. What if you don't know the latitude and longitude? What to do? Just type Google Maps. And then what you need to do is click it and then paste the address and then search. And then there is a red dot and then right click it and voila, that is the latitude and longitude. So we are going to copy it by clicking it and then we're going to go back to Excel and we're going to paste it in here like that. And that's our latitude and longitude for our first site. Repeat the whole thing. And then you can write a formula such as what I have done in here that basically says 
find the comma and then everything to the left of the comma is basically our latitude and everything to the right of the comma is our longitude. Once you have done that, then just double click it. Voila, all done. Now, if you don't quite understand that, you can just manually copy and paste and put it over there, you'll get the same result. Once completed, save the file and close Excel and go to Power BI. In Power BI, hit refresh and then you'll be able to see latitude and longitude. So now click the Power BI visuals for the Azure map and then click and drag latitude to latitude, longitude to longitude and then voila, everything is now fixed. How awesome is this? Lastly, let's click the chart and get rid of the title because it's not very informative first latitude and first longitude by side. So let's just turn it off and we are done with our Azure map. Let's just resize this chart and put it there. And the last step is to supplement our visuals with bar charts as well as tables that contain additional information that our user may find useful in analyzing warehouse leasing costs in Australia. And we're done. I hope you find this video useful and it will give you the confidence to add Azure Map in your next Power BI report so you can deliver greater insight with speed and accuracy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out in my future video. See you next time.